guys, welcome back to my channel. Bianca here. I told you guys that I would start doing my life coaching videos now. Um, because I was because I was watching another YouTuber. Yes, I watch other YouTubers. You do not learn if you do not watch people that are successful, that are uh, manifesting good vibes, <laughs> manifesting this this thing. You do not learn if you do not watch those people and do not celebrate them, do not support them. Like. I mean, these are people that paved the way to make it where we can do it. Anyway, do you guys like my shirt? It's called Motherhood, the Only Hood Out There. I love this freaking shirt, guys, okay? Motherhood is the only hood out there. So today we will be talking about um, character assassinators, uh, people who diminish your character, people who diminish uh, your name. We will also be talking about mommying, being a mother. How do you do things a certain way when you're a mom? How do you show your kids certain thing as a mom? Like, especially being a mother to a young girl who is um, trying to, you know, learn how to be a little girl, you know? So anyway, and then a young boy who is a mama's boy, who's the sweetest thing in the world, but very timid, and um, you want him to get out of that a little bit, you know? And so anyway, first I'm going to talk about the character assassination. I have people going around here just attacking my character, attacking my name. It's just ridiculous, guys. And the saddest thing about it is it's people that I actually like that believes this, that comes for me. That comes for me. And these are people that I think are like amazing people. Like I think are doing great things. They're putting great vibes out there. And they will treat me so bad due to these character assassinators. Okay. And I'm just confused on like what is the purpose? You know, what is the reason for all this? I don't attack people that I like. I don't personally go out and have to be little, you know, shame anyone. I have my own things to worry about. I have my own things going on in my life. I'm to be trying to figure out how to manifest different things for me and my children. What's our next move? I don't care to hurt anyone. Okay, physically mentally or emotionally i am just worried about you removing like myself from situations i if uh, something's not good for me i just remove myself i don't sit around and um focus on how am i going to hurt this person i don't want to hurt you but i don't i don't want to be for no one i i am not jealous of anyone um i don't want to take anyone's spot I I don't want um, to, I'm not copying off anyone. I am not running a race. There's no competitions with anyone. I am just simply doing what I need to do for me and my children. And that's that, okay? I am just simply trying to be a mother and find ways to be a successful person at that. Like, I am not saying I'm trying to be rich, be on TV, nothing like that. What I'm saying is I'm just trying to be successful enough to provide for my children. Nothing more. I am not in competition. I do not want to take anyone's spot. I, I think that there's plenty of room in this world for everybody to find. Plenty of room. I was watching Judy... Um, the real Judy, you know, the one that has the, uh, the hair products. As a matter of fact, I, I love her products. Guys, they're amazing. I'm about to go get a whole thing, like the, all of the conditioner, all the stuff for um, my daughter. My daughter, because her hair, oh my God, y'all, you should see the, the difference in it from one year. It's amazing. Like, you should see it. Okay? It's so amazing. So, anyway, when she was young, get back on that hair thing when she was younger her hair it was like so short when she was a baby and then i had got it i was beating it up like she, my babies yeah she's one of the little girls the little ghetto girls running around here with beads all over her head yes she did okay i worked a lot and that was so easy it was easy to just beat that up every sunday wash condition grease beat it up and then do it again every Sunday. That's why I did every Sunday. So her hair had started getting long. And then I stopped doing it. And I started putting her in little puffs and da-da-da. And, it, like, her hair started slowly breaking and breaking. And it's like it wasn't growing. So last year, I started putting her hair in crochets. Um, well, actually, the year before. And I just kept putting it in crochets, kept putting it in crochets. And I would take it out a little bit, let her wear her natural hair. I would use, like, those drops. I would use a um, magic touch. 
Anyway, so I was on her page and she posted this video and she was all like, um, people that are successful are not the ones that's going to hate on you. Successful people are the ones that will, um, they will try to help you. They will, um, they will root for you. And I was like, oh my God, you know, I really needed to hear that because, you know, sometimes you get a little discouraged when you're trying to do this and, um, and you feel like when you reach out to people who are in a better position than you and they like shun you and uh, or make you feel less than and feel like that you're not good enough to even try to talk to or help, it make it's very discouraging. You know, I've reached out to YouTube mommies that have like tried to belittle me. I've reached out to other life coaches that um, made me feel kind of bad, but you know, you also have to purchase their products. And, like it's one the one I like I didn't even know she had products so trust me I would have purchased it because I really like her and I, I really really do and so I've been looking for her, her products I haven't I still can't find them I sent her a message asking her where they are but she hasn't um, answered me back but I understand that you know you have to buy advertisement like me right now I haven't bought any advertisement but I also haven't brought in um, I feel like enough to be bought, paying for advertising because it's very expensive you know to um, post ads to other people's pages and things like that. It costs money. Okay, so I thought this was recording. It wasn't. Well, anyway, you know, sometimes you have to, like, buy their products. You have to buy ads. You have to buy things like that. But sometimes you have to think about, okay, can I afford this at the moment? And a lot of times they think that you don't want to purchase the ad when you do because that's how you support them. It's like you want people to support you. You have to be able to support them as well, you know. And so... But, you know, when you're a small business, I'm a very small business, you know, and when you're a small business, you have to think about, okay, is this ad worth it right now, you know, or whatever. And a lot of times when you don't purchase the ad, you don't purchase this, they think that you're not trying to uh, work with them and they, they don't want to work with you. And I understand that this is all about money and this is their jobs and things like that. But sometimes you're just simply asking a question for yourself. Like, I've reached out to YouTubers, you know, and I was going to purchase ads from them, but then they, they like belittle me, you know, and things like that. And I'm like, what did I do, you know? And I'm always confused on what I did to upset them or what is the reason for the attack. And then you have to think about it. Who do you have around you? You know, who is trying to assassinate your character? Who is doing definition of character? Who is going around making you look like a monster? Who is belittling you? Who is doing this? Because, I mean, honest with you guys, this is the most talking I do other than my kids. I don't have, at this moment, I have no friends, okay? I have literally no friends. Like, I'm going to have to open up a Facebook page just for my um, life church group. And I'm like, <laughs> because I don't really have friends anymore. I, I don't really know any of my friends anymore. You know, a lot of them, they're working and stuff like that. And when I moved away, some of them moved away. And I didn't keep contacts. So I don't know them. And some of them got mad at me because, when you know, when I got married, I was trying to uh, focus on fixing and making sure everything was good and learning the way of life for that because... I never wanted to get married before. I never, you know, I was just trying to manifest. And a lot of friends I had were not married and they didn't want anything to do with me, you know, because I wasn't going out. I wasn't drinking. I wasn't partying. I wasn't, and they kind of like went their own way. So, uh, you know, so I really don't talk to anyone anymore. I don't really have friends. And here lately, everybody I meet only comes to me if they have some form of drama. Like they don't come to me with anything positive. So, I, I know that I don't want that in my life anymore. You know, back in the day, I was always like, didn't think I was good enough. And I always wanted to protect someone else without thinking about my own life, without thinking about what that does to me, you know, because I would protect these people and then they would um, run off and hang with the people that I was protecting them from. And I'm always left, you know. Sorry, 911 is back, guys. 911, I love it. All my shows are back. Okay, but anyway, so, like, I'm always left looking like, I'm always left looking like the dumb, psychopathic, ghetto black girl. You know, I'm always left, even with other black girls, I'm always left looking like the psychopath, ghetto girl. I can't. I can't. You know, I'm tired. I'm too old. I don't want to do it. I don't. And so... Now, anybody that comes around me, they're just really negative. And I, so I've just been to myself. I don't want to be friends with negative people. I don't want to be friends with people that got drama going on. I don't. 
I don't. And nobody else deals with me unless they have drama and they want protection or they want me to be involved in something dumb. And so I don't have friends. So I, when I say something, it's not, I'm never talking about anyone. I'm never belittling anyone. You know, it's like one time I said something about, I don't know how people have long nails. I don't. I can't. I got so used to not having my nails done from being a CNA that whenever I see people with their nails done, I'm just like, oh my God, her nails is done. My eyebrows is so messed up. I'm like, oh my God, how's her nails done like that? It's not because I don't like it or because, it's not because I don't like it or because I don't think it's cute. It's just because I, I can't, you know, I can't. I don't know how. I can't. I can't. Well, I don't know how to. They will be tore up. My fingers will be bleeding to death. That's not me shunning anyone, okay? That's me talking about me. It's me saying that. Basically, it's like a praise. How do they do that? You know, I don't know how I can. I can't do it. So it wasn't even. It's not even a big or a bash. But somehow, that was turned into a whole bash, and people thought I was belittling them. It's always something. It's always something. And it's like, do I ever say this to you guys? No. So why do you listen to someone trying to attack my character? Why are y'all? Why? And if I was such a horrible person, why does this person keep being around me? Why do these people keep, how do they, how are they able to know what I'm saying, you know, or whatever? It's like people literally scream out, no one like, that's fine. I don't care if no one likes me. I love me. I love me. I love who I'm becoming. I am becoming the person that I was becoming in 2014. In 2014, I went through some shit, okay? I decided that fuck that. I don't want it, you know? And I started doing things totally different. And when I got um, moved away and all that, it's like I forgot who I was. And I'm starting to remember again, like, look, you're not hopeless. You're not some dumb bum, okay? You might have to go backwards and crawl. You're going to crawl for a while till you get to a certain place. So, I mean, just humble yourself and deal with that. You're going to have to crawl. And I'm okay with crawling. I'm okay with being at the bottom, until I can get where I need to get. I'm okay with that. I mean, it builds, it, 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 will, it will remind me of never going back. And I feel like I need to be reminded because every time I have the opportunity to remove myself from this situation, I allow myself to be drew back into craziness. And I feel like I need to learn. So I'm okay with crawling, you know, having to crawl. But I'm not okay with people believing dumb shit about me. Like you, I don't, I don't have to prove myself to anyone. I don't, but I'm also like, why would you sit here and think that I am belittling you or against you if I'm watching you, if I like it, okay? I, I'm not gonna sit here and continue to watch you if I don't like you. If I feel like you're negative, I block. I will block somebody real quick, block. And then I'm done. So if I'm coming to your page and I'm trying to, to watch you and all that stuff like that. It's because I like it. I like what you're putting out there. I, I, lo I love it. Okay. It's nothing personal. Nothing personal at all. I don't have anything against anyone that I watch. I know bad things are on my name. But I don't care. Because the real ones is, is not going to believe some dumb shit that somebody said. That's he say, she say shit. That's for bored loser bitches. Okay. Real ones don't believe he say, she say shit. I don't go out here. I'm not out here belittling no one. I'm not out here attacking no one's character. I'm not out here wanting people to do bad. I don't give a fuck if we're enemies, okay? I don't wish wish bad on nobody. I am trying to manifest positive for myself. And sitting around wishing bad for the next person is going to hurt me. In the long run, it will bring me down. It will make me look... It, it's going to hurt me. And when it hurts me, it hurts my kids. So I don't have time to worry about you. I might get mad and say something crazy to someone about my children or about something or if I feel like they're trying to hurt me or my kids, but that's nothing personal. You get what I'm saying? I, I'm just mad at the moment. And when you're a mom and you feel like your kids is being played with, you 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 get that crazy, okay? Doesn't mean it's that you really feel, you know, like I would never, ain't nobody out here worth me being took away from my babies. Nobody. So... You get what I'm saying? Other than that, I don't talk about bad about anyone. I don't, I'm, if I'm watching you, I'm loving you or I'm not watching you. And I understand like you, you having to uh, buy your space from someone if you want them to promote you. Like you have to um, pay for their time. I get that. 
you know, I'm not saying that I'm not the type of person that won't. I will, but I you have to I have to wait till I'm in that place. And if I need to not contact or ask these people questions because they can't help me until then, that's fine. Like I said, I gotta cry. I'm okay with that. But also when these people are like, Well, you have to pay for this, you need to support, I understand that. I will support you, honey, but also remind you that I also have my own company. I'm also doing my own things. So when I support you, are you going to support me? That's what I'm asking. You know, like there's also another YouTuber on here. Oh, my God. She liked, um, she subscribed to my channel. I'm so happy. Oh, my God. I'm going to get her. Her name is The Family Dream. She subscribed to my channel and she's a she has a big following. So I am so excited about that. And then also there's another girl who subscribed to my channel. I'm going to go get her name as well. It's another girl. Her name is Sam Mommy in Serenity Show. She also subscribed to my channel. I really, really appreciate you guys. I have a very small following, but I am trying to build it. So anyone that's already have a following um, that is going to support me, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, my kids also have a page. Please go subscribe to their channel as well. But um, yes, and um, the Serenity, um, Mommy Serenity Show, she doesn't have a big following either, guys. So go be supportive and subscribe to her as well. But um, also, yes, yeah, so so you get what I'm saying? I am all about supporting. That, let's help each other. Let's build each other up. Like, let's not... Let's not think that everything is bad and everything is competition. And let's not a, a character assassinate anyone. Let's not believe what he or she say because if you're trying to, but you also know you got to be strong because if you're trying to do this, there are going to be lots of people. Sorry, guys, if my hair seems kind of crazy because I have not done it. Okay. There's going to be lots of people out there trying to like tear you down, spit on you, talk about you, say crazy things about you. And I understand that. But come on, guys. Come on. Stop believing dumb shit and stop thinking that people are attacking you or against you. No, no one's against you. No one's attacking you. If I'm watching you, I love you, okay? I keep having all these ones to come up and show that they can do their little cyber and stuff like that. Okay, I am not a hairdresser. I cannot do mine. I probably, I can if I took the time out to do it. You know, I'll, I'll, it'll be back up there soon, okay? But right now, it's not up there, okay? So, anyway. So, yeah, if I took the time out to do it, I could. I'm blind. I'm b I'm blind, and a lot of times when I, wear my, when I do my hair and stuff, I do not put on my glasses because I can't. I can't reach over and do my hair. It, it, it constricts me from being able to do what's needed when it comes to my hair so like right now i haven't even really you know i need to go find my brush and do some little you know but that it doesn't mean that i'm that it's okay to come uh, try to attack or be rude or disrespectful that just shows that you're jealous or if you're not jealous that should show you're hateful like you know like why be hateful i'm not going to be hateful to anyone now let's get off that subject guys please subscribe please support and if you are oh also it's a youtuber who's going to um do a is going to um post my hair and go over or do a review on my hair guys so when that comes out i will let you guys know like i said um, i'm gonna have to do some promoting i'm gonna have to do all of that so yes, guys, as soon as that comes out, I will let you guys know when they do that for me. Also, um, let's talk about kids. Okay, so my kids are going to do, I want to be around. I want to make sure that I, I'm on the same, like, I'm older. And like, well, my daughter is like freaking going to be 16. Y'all, I'm going to be an old ass lady. Well, not really. I want to be just old, but I'm going to be up in there. You know what I'm saying? My kids is 18, 20. And so I want to still be able to, you know, fit in. And that's the reason why I've been trying to lose weight. Because my son, now that's a different subject. Okay, let's go to my son. My daughter thinks I'm like gorgeous, but she only, she is like, she, I do this stuff for her. I do this for her. Okay, the makeup, the hair and stuff, because I realized that if I don't show her me getting up, me getting dressed, me looking decent, that she's not going to know to do that. This is one thing I can tell you about my mama. Well, my mama is ready to get dressed, honey. My mama is a heavier set lady. Okay. And, um, and she didn't get that way till after her 30s. So that's no reason why I'd be working out. But when, uh, when, when uh, my mother is ready to get dressed, she 
So anyway, so so you know, so I I do this for her. So when she gets older, she she wants to go get her um her hair done. She wants to you know make sure she looks cute, make sure she she dresses up when she leaves out the house and stuff like that. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, for the past couple of years, I don't I don't dress up. I don't do no makeup. I don't um I just be going looking straight by me like this a hot fucking struggle bus mess that's how i've been looking you know for the past couple of years but that's also had something to reflect on my emotional feelings for myself and she noticed that too you know you, you gotta think about being that mom you know you gotta think about being that mom first and i wasn't there mentally to do that for them you know i, I just wasn't there mentally to do that for them and now i am now i'm I'm not all the way. I, I still have some things that, you know, I'm working on. I'm trying to fix. It's some stuff that I'm trying to manifest. That's why I've been praying a lot. That's why I'm doing these life groups because I'm telling you God is important. But without having him, it's hard. Life is hard without God by your side, period. Not If you don't believe me, I don't know what to tell you. But if you do not have God by your side, it's really hard to push forward in life. It's really hard. Like, it's hard. Especially me, I don't have anyone. Like, it's literally me and my kids. Like, I have someone, but I don't know if I actually really have someone. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just me and my kids. I don't have family. I don't have friends anymore. It's just literally me and my kids. And I have to, and it's sad because I tell my kids this. Like, we have each other. We got each other. We got to have each other. We got to have each other. So, that gets me to come to my son. I am not, when I, the way I am with my daughter it's totally left on my son. Like he's into video games. He's into other things. And I'm realizing now that, okay, I got to learn these video games. Okay. I got to learn Roblox. I have to learn the things that he likes because I'm slacking on that side when it comes to my baby. I baby him for so, cause he's my baby. He's seven, but that's my baby. You know, I baby him so much. There's some things that he doesn't do because of that you know like people are like you hard on him you hard on him now i i have to push him because it's like i baby him and sheltered him from like things i didn't sh my daughter is a tough cookie okay she can take whatever word you say people can say stuff to her and she's like they ain't gonna touch me and she's nine not saying that she's saying she's gonna fight him but saying like long as they don't hurt me it doesn't matter what they say my son is not the same he is his mother when she was hurting. All of that is my son now. You know, like he took all that and that's how he is. My daughter is me when I was younger. When I was younger, it could nothing you do hurt me. People bash me every day, okay? Every single day. People made up lies on me all the time and it didn't even phase me. I enjoyed life. I, I, I was... I went through some crazy mess, like house to house. It was still the happy little mud sucker. It was like I was goofy, happy. Everything just rolled off the next day. Something horrible can happen to me. The next day, I'm just like, hey, guys, what are y'all doing? That's how I was. That's my daughter. My son is like that, too, where he doesn't. He just like, hey, hey, hey. But he's very timid. And. It like breaks my heart, guys. He's so timid. And I just need him to not be so freaking timid because people are cruel. And you see all those babies out there killing themselves and stuff like that because people don't accept them. And when we were in Oklahoma, like I got out to cry because when we were in Oklahoma, my baby said some horrible things. And um, he's like, no one likes me. And he was really, really sad about it. You know, he was really sad about no one liking him and people treating him different and things that was said about him. And so um, people are like, why are you hard on him right now? I am hard on him right now because I need him to not ever allow that type of stuff to hurt him like that. The reason why I am tough the way I am right now. The reason why I, the reason why my mind have shifted to like, if you want to hurt me, you can't be here. If you are negative, I can't have you in my, I don't care who the fuck you are. I can't have you around me. It's because of that. Okay. That right there. 
that told me like, no, no, it's, this is your fault. This is you. He's seeing you be weak. He's seeing you coward. He's seeing you get in the bed and just cry. You know, he's seeing you not fight back. And that's what he's becoming. And hell no. He's seeing you be so weak that you feel like that you don't matter and it's okay for you not to be or be here. That's not acceptable. That is not fucking acceptable. And him being that way is my fault. And people be like, well, you're hard on him. I am going to make him a little stronger. Yes. I'm not hard. I'm not hard on him. But when he cries and someone says something to him, I stop it right there. You better shut up. You better shut up. You will be in trouble. You are not that. You are not what anyone says about you. Okay? You are not. I tell my son is one of the smartest kids I ever met in my life. And right now he has people trying to make it seem like he's not. And so now I have to get him to understand. Also, if you're a woman, because of me, it's my fault. But if you're a woman, he will play the shit out of you. Okay. He will play sad. He will play like he's hurting. He will play like he's sad. He... <sighs> He, he will play like something is wrong with him, okay, to get you to play sympathy so he don't have to do whatever you want him to do. And he I think he's doing it at school. But I don't want to tell her that about him. You know, I don't want to say that about him. But I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing at school. So now, now you know, I'm going to have to spend more time with him like i'm gonna have to sit down there because i already do sometimes i'll sit down there and let him tell me about his video games or if he has a new video game or something he just seen he always runs to tell me but i never just sit and play video games with him i never take walks with him like i do with my daughter and just be like talk to him about you know video games stuff like that i know he wants to do i know he wants to do wrestling i know he likes hockey i've never seen uh, i'm not gonna say that but i know he likes hockey and he loves freaking baseball okay and my my daughter loves basketball and gymnastics my son loves baseball and wrestling and um I know those things about him because he tells me you know I know about all his little friends because he tells me um or whatever they tell me my kids tell me a lot about their schooling about their life about all their friends I know about all of their friends I know about all the stuff like that they come tell like I don't know everything that happens to them today but I know their I don't know the friends names but they tell me their friends names I don't remember them I don't really try to you know that's the ones I see but you know like with my daughter I follow all of her the people that she likes I follow them on Instagram I follow all of those people and stuff like that and I'm like I made her Instagram because she says her friend had Instagram and in Oklahoma so I made her Instagram I made her TikTok because um everybody had TikToks like my nieces and all of them and she didn't I got her a cell phone which I had to get another one because it broke but I got her a cell phone, you know, with my son, it was like more like since he was a boy, I was waiting for someone else to get that bond with him. And it's like not anymore. Now I know that it's time for me to be that bond. You know, it's time for me to sit down and learn how to play those fucking video games. Um, it's time for me to understand the video games. Okay. It's time for me to sit down and watch baseball with him, maybe take him to some baseball games. My family is a football family. Okay. So I know football like a mug. Okay. I was a cheerleader, but I don't know shit about base basketball. I just don't know basketball. So I'm not basketball, but baseball. I don't. I don't know baseball. I did date a dude who I'm still friends with at, to this day. He was from Oklahoma City. And he played his favorite sport was baseball. And it's kind of weird because I'm like, oh, my God, my son likes baseball too. And whenever I post baseball or something, he always, like, like it whenever I'm on Facebook or whatever. But, yeah, so that's the only person I know that knows really – my um i can't find any of their board games we moved away because a lot of crazy stuff i felt like they were trying to make it where my daughter my daughter and my son did not pass school where they flunked school and i feel like that's what's going on again now it's like they i'm always it's like people are always trying to push us out or run us away and my weak self like you know being weak yes i do i feel like that's me being weak and that's where my son is getting in it i is done you know I always just run off because I don't want to fight with no one I don't argue with them I just run away you know what I mean so because I'm tired I'm too old I'm not the same person that people think is gonna pop and start swinging on bitches no now if you hit me okay but other than that no I'm too grown I don't give a fuck about I don't girl bye you know that's how I am now you know a boy bye leave me alone you know oh well your mom's talking about I don't care so so she ain't said it to me 
And when I asked her, she said no. I don't care. Your sister, well, they said it to me. And when I asked them, they said no. Your your um husband, well, well he he ain't said. As I was speaking about a doorbell ring, guess what? Yes, it's here, guys. Look at this. Ooh. Okay, so like I was saying, I am tired of just. I just feel like it's time for me to get back into who I used to be. We used to walk to the park. They would play at the park. I used to have them in sports. I used to have them in all that stuff. And I think I should have kept doing that with my son because um, I just feel like he needs that bond again. You know, he, he needs me to be, to, sometimes you have to be that man that your kid needs. And I feel like that's where, that's what I need to be. Sometimes you have to be that man that your kid needs and I was waiting for someone else to be that to him and that's I, I that's my job so that's what I'm about to do I'm about to learn how to do the baseball I'm about to sit down and figure out how to play this this GTA this learn how to play this GTA I'm about to learn how to play this um Fortnite this other one game that he shows me all the time he's got one video up guys showing you guys these games okay I'm not going to do all that. I'm going to work harder with manifesting stuff on their YouTube page because they ask me about it all the time. But when I'm like, let's do it, they're playing, you know, or I don't have any good content for it. But yeah, so I'm going to try to work harder with that as well, so, you know, and I'm going to be there for him more because I feel like I'm there for him, but only to baby him and to like push him so when people see me like saying stuff to him they think i'm mean to my i'm not mean to my baby my baby is baby spoiled spoiled baby okay that's my baby it's, that's the youngest it's the last so he's spoiled you know i have a grown-up boy i didn't want another kid i had got my twos untied and everything but then i got divorced and um i'm just not going to have another baby because i'm divorced and i just i, I just don't want to do it no more I just don't want it no more. I don't. I, I'm fine with um, my two. I just don't want another baby anymore because it's life is hard enough. Maybe one day, maybe sometime I might change in a couple months. I might be a different person, like feel different. But at this moment, I'm good, you know. And so I need to stop babying him and I push him harder. And, you know, one of my videos when all the crazy was happening, you guys seen that. And everyone's like, well, you're me. I'm never mean to him. I love my kids, both of them. I don't care unconditionally. Like a lot of mean things being said about my baby. And I had to tell him, I don't give a fuck what is said. And I don't give a fuck if it's true. I love you. And whatever, I love you to death. And that's going to never change. Never. And so, you know, I just, I just, that's when I said motherhood's the only hood. That's my shirt. Because I feel like that's. I feel like that's where my focus is and people don't get that. You know, my focus is I need to manifest positivity. I need to manifest other things. Like it's a lot of crazy things happening to me. And I feel like also it's a lot of good things happening to me. And I see more of the crazy than I see the good. And that's the problem. The problem is, is that I'm focusing on a negative and I need to focus on a positive. I need to focus on bettering what I don't like, you know, about myself. And what I, the one of the things is that I used to be different. I used to be more into, you no know, into my kids. And then when all the stuff started happening, I just went into a shell. I don't, I, you can't afford to go into a shell as a mother. Like you just can't, you know, because then your kids lose out. You don't hurt anyone but your kids. And I know that now. And I'm, I, that's why I feel different now. You know, you can't, you don't hurt anyone but your kids. Like you guys don't get what my son did or what he said, and I said I'm not, I'm not willing to put that out. But he was really hurt, and he felt like no one liked him. And then we're here, and he has friends, and he's happy. But I feel like he thinks that you know, I, I, I just see myself like spending more time with my daughter than him. And you know that's what happens as a mom and a daughter, you know. But it's like no, I, I'm. I'm switching that, you know, like let's divide this equally. Let's learn to do this together, you know. Let you need to learn to and I'm saying this to moms, like, you know, even if the dad's there, you still have to learn to be that for them as well. And that's one of the things that I want to talk about when I'm I'm saying like being a mom, when it comes to your daughter, when it comes to your son, the difference. It's a big difference. With my daughter, it's easy because I'm a woman, you know, and she's a girl. Well, my son, it's not because I don't know boy things. I grew up in a house with, um, with my mom has four girls. My dad has 12 kids. I have nine brothers. 
but I didn't grow up in the same home with them. I visited the home they were in, okay? I did grow up in a home with my cousin, um, Nuki. However, to fix all the turmoil from all of that. With my daughter, I'm pretty much fixed it with her. You know, she's pretty much good now. She's pretty much on her ball. Like, we, my baby's, my daughter's great, but my son is, I, I see now that I'm going to have to, that, you know, I have to learn to switch over the sides and, you know, like, you can't wait for somebody else. You have to do it. And so that's what I'm doing now when it comes to my son. But first, we have to learn that we are a team and this is what we got to do right here. We got to learn that we are a team and um, we got to focus on building. You got to, I got to focus on building a bond with me and my babies again, which we, I have a bond with them, but I want it to be strong where they have like, when they grow older, they say stuff like, oh, we had family game night. Oh, we had Sunday dinners. You know, I have things, even though, you know, people probably think because I don't really talk to no one in my family. And from my understanding, they say horrible. I have strong memories of things that we did, like, you know, traditions, like the way we had barbecues all the time. So I'm obsessed with barbecues, how we did our Sundays, how we did our Christmas, like, it's always just me and my kids and my ex on Christmas. And I still get up and cook a full meal for them so they understand, okay? Every holiday, I either barbecue or cook Thanksgiving. I do all of that for them every time. Even on Halloween when no one is, people are disrespectful. I took my kids to the city and they've got names called at them and stuff. And I still took them because they were so happy, you know, because I, that's a tradition I remember as a child. And I want my kids to remember those these traditions. I want them to have all of that. Easter, no one's around. No, they don't have anyone to hunt with. It just be them two. I still cook the eggs, barbecue, and take them out there, hide the eggs, and let them hunt. And I have a video of that, and I will post it. Go to my kids' page. Please subscribe and um, support us, guys. And if you want to be supported, let me know in the comments below, and I will go ahead and support you. I support any and everybody that I can. Trust me, I do. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.